Hello everyone, this is Shannon from That's So Po, and today I'm here to do the end of the year tag. The original tag was created by Ariel Bissett, and I was tagged by Maya and Christina at Bookworm Dreams. Both of those videos I will link below. Prompt one, are there any books that you started this year that you need to finish? Yes, of course there are. I tend to start a lot of books without finishing them, so there's quite a few on my list. But the highest, the one I really want to prioritize, is Sal and Gabby Fix the Universe by Carlos Hernandez. I know that I'm going to love this book. I really loved the book that came before it, Sal and Gabby Break the Universe, so I just need to get to it. Prompt two, do you have an autumnal book to transition into the end of the year? So we're already a little bit past autumnal at this point, but I will interpret this as, do you have anything that's kind of in the mood for the season? And for me, we are entering the holiday season and for me, holidays equal baking. So I think that the book that really speaks the season for me is A Wizard's Guide to Defensive Baking by T. Kingfisher. Uh, this is a middle grade about magical baking and I have been hooked and I wanna read it. I love T. Kingfisher and I really think that this will be so perfect for this season. Prompt three, is there a new release you're still waiting for? I don't know of any books that have not yet been released that I want to read, but there are plenty of new releases that I still want to read. Uh, most prominent in that is Black Sun by Rebecca Roanhorse. I've been looking forward to this and tried to get to it in November and I just haven't been able to, but hopefully I can get this read by the end of the year. Prompt four, what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? My list for this is actually enormous. There are so many books that I really desperately want to get to by the end of the year, but three of them that would make me really pleased to get to are The Dark Fantastic by Ebony Elizabeth James. This is a nonfiction book that takes a look at the way that um, black girls are portrayed in fantasy, and I think that this is going to be such a good read. Um, I actually bought a physical copy last year, and I just, I really want to get to it. The next is In the Dream House by Carmen Maria Machado. I have heard such amazing things about this. I really love memoirs. It sounds like this does such an interesting... Um, kind of formatting of each chapter being a different style of genre and I think that that's going to be so interesting. Just also reading about some kind of interesting topics in terms of Carmen Maria Machado's experiences with um, kind of an abusive queer relationship. And the last book that I would really love to get to by the end of the year is The House in the Cerulean Sea by T.J. Klune. This is a middle grade, it's not a middle grade, that's the thing. I keep thinking that it's a middle grade because it sounds like it has the sweetness and gentleness and heart of a middle grade, but it's actually an adult novel that is a, a fantasy about um, like a middle-aged social worker who is, has to go to this house um, where it's a home for lots of kids with very difficult magical powers. Um, and I think he ends up falling in love with the caretaker there. And it just, it sounds sweet and it sounds adorable and fun. And I've heard such good things about it. And I think this will be so uplifting to read as one of the last books of the year. Prompt five, is there a book that you think could still shock you and become your favorite book of the year? Yes, every book, every single book. Um, I think that I am not the hardest to please when it comes to books. I love so many books and I am so excited about all of the books that I have left on my kind of plans for the rest of the year and I could see any of them becoming a favorite of mine. I'm so, so, so excited about all of the books that I just mentioned and so many others. For example, another book that I'd love to get to by the end of the year is The Goblin Emperor by Catherine Addison. I've heard amazing things about this. Sush has read it, um, my husband, and has highly recommended it to me. And I just think like if I pick it up and read it, it could become a favorite. I, I sort of feel that about every book I pick up, so we'll see what ends up on my favorites of the year list. And prompt six, have you already started making reading plans for next year? 
Of course I have, of course I have. I make plans so far in advance for everything. Not only do I have plans of all of these books that I wanna read, but I have plans of my monthly priorities. I have plans of buddy reads that I've already scheduled for 2021. I have so many things that I wanna do. Um, I'm really excited about all of the reading possibilities of 2021. So those are my answers for the end of the year tag. Thanks to Maya and Christina for tagging me. This is definitely a fun tag. Um, I would like to tag Amanda at Butch Poetics. I don't think that you've done this, but if you're interested, I'd love to hear your answers. If you don't have time, it's not a problem. Also, anybody else who hasn't done the end of the year tag, it's a fun tag to do. So if you do it, go ahead and let me know down in the comments. I'd love to hear what your answers are for all of the questions. Also, if you just generally have any thoughts or comments or you've read any of the books that I've mentioned, go ahead, leave me a comment down below.